Well, you're very welcome to this latest sketchbook I have to show you. This is from October to December 2022. So it's the next one on from my last little sketchbook that I posted up on YouTube. So I guess this is my son, Paddy. And this was one morning we went to a cafe, a nice little French cafe, together to sketch this Paddy drawing his coffee cup. And uh, I drew Paddy's coffee cup, which kind of was here. And I drew my bits and pieces of my sketching stuff. And I was very happy that the colours all toned in together. This was uh, one of those drawings I did where I call it um, Phantom People. It's where you draw like all the background and then when people come in, you just throw them on top and then you can paint everything in the background and they stand out really well. So it's a great technique when you are worried that you're going to lose your subject. I tried it again and uh, this one didn't work quite so well because people just refused to come. But eventually they did and uh, I'd already started to paint, but... Um, but I still did the same technique and it was fun and it's it's a good technique. It means you're never worried whether your subject's going to up and leave. Um, that was the same cafe, but looking in a different direction. And this time I did it the other way around. I started with the girls and then I uh, then I drew in the background. And the only thing I could say technically about that is that if you darken up around something, a white area, it'll end up looking like the light is really glowing. Two girls were playing cards together on a really miserable winter's day in Galway City. It was nice. This is my attempt to capture the amazing horse chestnut leaves that I um, have in a tree just outside my studio. Oh, some of my um, favourite wine bottles bought, of course, for their lovely labels. This one was done in class and this one was done in front of the telly just for my own fun because that's you know the kind of thing i like to do um these were the uh, speech bubble um stencils that i bought recently and they're great because you just draw them in pencil and then you can get the shapes really good around it this one i like a bit better this is uh, a beech tree down the front of my drive and i, I like how that came out Oh, this one is um, some lessons in perspective and I suppose getting the reflections in a car window as well. This is the the village next to me in Galway. Some people in the airport when I was going off to France on the way out and on the way back, just waiting around. And then when I got to France, this was one of those nice trees in the autumn yellows, really gorgeous. This is Clermont-Ferrand in the middle of the country. Um, and it's just a great, a great town. I really like it. I was there for the Rendezvous Carnet de Voyage, which is uh, like a meeting of the travel sketchbooks. And this is my mate Tazab. This is a new friend, Marc. So that was really nice to draw those two guys. And this one's unusual because these, this jug and the candle were done on location in this very fancy little restaurant. Well, it's not fancy at all. It's actually down to earth, but it's really cool. It's very French. It's called uh, Le 1513. A creperie le 15 13 so it means pancake place of 1513 so i don't know what 1513 is whether it was built in 1513 i wouldn't be surprised because that's it's really old over there in clermont fall but the reason it's unusual is because this area here was done from a photo i took just as we left the restaurant and i never draw from photos and there's a good reason for that and i think you can really tell well i can anyway that this is kind of stilted not like my usual fresh and lively style this one was not done from a photo. This was done standing up, squashed into the alleyway of a building. Sorry, into the doorway of a building just behind me. And that was uh, that was done. Actually, I was hoping to cover up this bad false start of a friend of mine. And I managed, luckily, to put him in the dark bit. So that was kind of cool. But this was just a little alleyway in the medieval part of Clermont Ferrand. And I really enjoyed doing that. Um, another false start, my friend, but I got her, I got him right in the end. And uh, that's very Jörg. That, that's what Jörg looks like. And that's very Jörg. It's a very sunny, sunny, cold day. Freezing. Um, this was done under the influence of alcohol, which is, you know, not really my best work. This is at our my friend Tazab that I showed you before. This is his annual party he has in Clement Ferrand. And he had some musicians in and they were having a really nice session. But yeah, a little bit of drunken sketching, um, kind of frustrating because I like to have my wits about me when I'm when I'm drawing. I stayed on in Clermont-Ferrand after everybody had left because I was there to do um, take part in a residency 
over the ensuing week. And uh, this was done on the Monday. So the festival was over on the Sunday. And I went and drew some 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 statues. And I drew them twice just because I wanted my students to, to see how the whole thing looked. Um, this is Versangetorix. He's um, a, a conquered Gaul. Probably shouldn't say the conquered bit, but you know the way, you know the way people are. Um, Clermont-Ferrand is famous for being the birthplace and the home of Michelin tires, and this yoke here is where they would have done their little um experiments on tires, their tests to see, whoop, and then I don't know, drop them off the top or something to see how well they stuck to the, to the surface. And I liked this scene because you've got the ugliness, if you like, of the industrial metal stuff, and then you've got the beauty of the delicate autumn leaves, poplar trees with their little seeds. Um, this was the first day of my residency in Mille Forme, which is like a kid's art gallery in the heart of Clément Ferrand. And I was really sick by then, but what couldn't you do? You've got a job to do and you do it. Meeting Tazab, my friend, um, that evening, that first evening, the Wednesday, and we went to one of his favourite bars and we sketched together. And you can see I really emphasize the green color and the brown just to keep it nice and pulled together and of course the paint's gray i love that the next day during my lunch hour i went and did another uh cafe scene this is cafe pascal um just in the place victoire of clermont -Font. and i don't know why i started drawing in pink but i liked it because it meant that i could pick that up in the awning um this one is um the cathedral uh, de uh, Clermont Ferrand. God, I'm mixing up my languages now. And uh, so these women, obviously, they weren't all the way up here. They were down here somewhere. They were down here somewhere. But I didn't want to miss them because they made a lovely little family trio. So I put them in and kind of position them up a little bit, which is which is a nice thing to do. Back home in Ireland, and this was a Christmas uh, card idea. So it was just a way of doing some observational sketching of a botanical scene. Um, the, uh, sorry, of, yeah, botanical scene. And this time is um, a, a fir tree with some pine cones. This is kind of like a mock-up for some ideas I'm working on for canvases, because I do these big canvases in acrylic. A poinsettia, a poinsettia, nice Christmas plant. Did that in class one day. They, that went down very well. And this was of my daughter having a nice um, hot uh, port and... Uh, that was I really enjoyed showing the refraction of the oranges and then picking up the little ribbon in the bundle of cinnamon sticks and the hot port. That was really nice. Lovely recipe, by the way. You can pause it here and you can you can write that down because that is an absolutely delicious recipe. If you like that kind of thing. This one was sitting in my car and uh, basically drawing out the window. And I, again, you'll notice the colours are very, very limited as well. Greens and browns and a little bit of paints grey. I seem to have a pattern of that. Maybe that's a winter thing. So we had some really bitter cold weather um, in Galway that week. And uh, I really enjoyed painting the frozen frosty fields out of the window of my car. <laughs> there was no way I could be out for more than a couple of seconds in that. Um, the World Cup final, the World Cup football final. So um, the Christmas tree is still up, as you can see. And my husband, that's Marcel, sitting there, cosy in the blanket. And that's my son, his feet sticking up, empty glass of wine. So very Christmassy vibe. I'm not sure what the date was, but uh, it was very close to Christmas anyway. That's Qatar somewhere. And I can't even tell you what team was playing, but it was the final anyway. can't even remember who won. Some vanilla kipfel. These are Austrian um, almond based bickies that we have every year because Marcel's mom um, is Austrian. So we have a tradition of making these every year. But we ate too much this year. So if you do stop the video and write down the recipe, be warned. There's such a thing as too many vanilla kipfel. It's a beautiful cup that was a gift from one of my students from Jerry. And I just love it. I love it. And I thought it looked beautiful next to the cup given to me by my younger daughter um, a couple of years ago, last year for Christmas and the owl is looking at the bumblebee. But I love the way the colours tone in and the the wood grain is nice too. And lastly, um, just a visit, another visit to a cafe with my son Paddy where we did a bit of sketching. So there you go. That is my sketchbook of, oh, and this is, by the way, Schmincke Deep Sea black and it's granulation and it makes a really gorgeous texture you can see the granulation there so that's my sketchbook for um october to december 2022 and i hope you enjoyed that